Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how you can change the delimiter in the CSV output if you use the built-in action in Power Automate to generate a CSV file. If you google it you will find this kind of solution has already been used by many other people and I will link the original I found back then in the description. I will just add a few more features to make it a bit more flexible. In my example, I have a products list from my frictional sports equipment company and I want Power Automate to generate a CSV file. As you can see, I have two mountain bikes, a running shirt, a running shirt and shorts, and a basketball with different prices and types. Just a side note, because the original settings of this side collection is set to United States, the thousand separator is a comma and the decimal separator is a dot. This can be changed in the side settings. But without further ado, let's go to Power Automate to create a flow. At first, I will add an action to get all items from the SharePoint list. I'll click on Add an Action, select SharePoint and then Get Items. I choose the site address of the sports equipment company and then the list name products. I'll click on show all advanced parameters and in the top count field I will enter 5000. If you have more than 5000 items in your list then you have to turn on pagination but I have another video for that that I will also link in the description. Now we'll add another action in the runtime dropdown. I choose build in, then data operation, and then create CSV table. In the from field, I select the output of the previous action, and that's it to create the CSV output. But I still want to save this file to SharePoint. So I add another action. Select SharePoint and choose Create File. The site address is again my sports equipment company. And then I use this symbol on the right to select the folder path. I go to the default share documents and then I have already created a folder called Product CSV. Now comes the file name. If you want to create a file with a name that already exists, then this action will fail. So I will use the current date and time as a file name to prevent that. For this, I will use this symbol here to insert a function. First, I will use the format date time function and as my first parameter, I will use the UTC now function, which will give me the current date and time. And the second parameter will be simply YYYMDDHHM. S and add. The big HH is capitalized here because I want the 24 hour format. The add button, I insert my function and then I will add another dot uh, and CSV for the file extension. Now to the content of the file. And this is the output of the previous action. So let's give this a test run to see if it's doing what it's supposed to do. First save and then test, because I'm in the new designer. Manually test and continue and run flow. Done. So it worked and I've got the CSV file in the folder. Let's download and open this file in the text editor. But if I look at the content, there's a lot of stuff that I don't want, like the SharePoint item IDs or the modified and auto columns. And of course the delimiter is not the one I want. So let's go back to Power Automate to fix a few of those things. First, I will select only the columns that I need for my final CSV file. In between the actions Get Items and Create CSV Table, I will add another action. I will go to the built-in runtime, then Data Operations, and then choose Select. The from field contains again the output of the get items action, and then I have to map the fields with the key and values. My 
my first key will be title and then I select the according value to it. Then price to price. Brand to brand. And then item type to, and be careful there, item type value. That's very important because you want to have the descriptive value in your final output. Now go back to the action create CSV table and change the prompt field to the output of my select action. Let's test it again and see what we get. It's looking already better with only the columns that I've specified, but there's still the problem with the delimiter because I want to have a semicolon and not a simple comma as a delimiter. Let's go back to Power Automate. A CSV file is a text file, so I could use the replace function to replace the comma with a semicolon, but if a comma appears somewhere within the value, then this will also be replaced and destroy the order of the columns. So I need something that is a bit more unique. First, I will create three variables at the top of my flow. I'll choose add an action and then initialize variable. The first will be my new delimiter. It's type string and the value will be my semicolon. Then I'm lazy and copy this with the right mouse button click and paste it and rename it to help delimiter. And this can be anything creative you come up with and where you're sure that it will not appear in any of your data values. I'll just two curly brackets with two pipes in it. Now I copy and paste this again and name it replaceable delimiter. The value will be a comma and the help delimiter. You might ask now why I'm doing this, but in this way, I'm creating a string with the comma from the default CSV and my help delimiter that I can target to be replaced. Now let's go down to the select action. And starting at the second row, I will add my help delimiter in front of each key and value, not in the first row, that's very important. And then after the action creates CSV table, I will add a compose action and the inputs will be a function. I use the replace function and the first parameter will be the output of the create CSV table action. The second parameter is my variable replaceable delimiter. And the last parameter is the new delimiter variable. Finally, in the last action, I will have to change the file content to the output of the compose action and now I can test it again.
As you can see, the delimiter has been changed. And if I ever want to change it again, I simply have to change the value of the variable. I hope you found this useful and I'm happy about every like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, just leave me a comment. And with that, I wish you just a great day.